Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1402, part 4. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, the last four videos, 1402, we've been talking all about putting a check mark in a cell when we see a positive number and nothing in the cell when we see 0 or a negative number. Now, in the last few videos, we saw a bunch of cool ways. We saw the character function. We saw how to type it into our formula. We even saw how to do it with Power Query. And under one of those videos, 0, x, y, z said, hey, how about trying the unit character and Unicode functions? Now, Unicode function, if we give it a character like one of these check marks, it'll give us the Unicode number. And unit character function, if we give it the code, it gives us the character. Now, here's a great website, Wikipedia. We used this in our last video. Here's the different Unicode check marks. And this site, you can look up any particular character and find the corresponding number or vice versa. Now, if we have the characters, then we can use equals Unicode. Now, notice there's unit character, Unicode. But we have the character, so we use code. When I do a relative cell reference, Control-Enter, there it is. 9745 is a Unicode for that particular character. When I copy this to the side, there's Unicode giving us the number from a particular character. Now let's see how to use Unicharacter. We're going to do the same formula we did before. But this time, I want to put one formula here, copy it down and over and display each one of the proper check marks from up here. Now, before I do that, I'd like to do a text formula here to say this is a check mark with that character. So watch this, equal sign, and in double quotes, I'm going to type check with a space at the end and double quotes. That's how we put text into formulas. Always got to be in double quotes. Then use the ampersand, that's the join character, and then click two cells above. Control Enter and copy it to the side. So there we have a text formula saying what is going to be in this column. Now we have one of two things to put in every cell, either check mark or nothing. The perfect function for that is the if function. Now our logical test, that's something that comes out true or false. I'm going to say, hey, that number right there, are you greater than 0? Now that comes out true or false. But wait a second. That cell reference right there, as I copy down, I need A18 to move to A19, then to A20, and so on. But when I copy it to the side, I need it locked. A18, A18, A18. So that means I'm going to use the F4 key and hit it one, two, three times to lock the column reference but not the row. Now, A is locked when I go this way. But when I copy down, the 18 is free to move to 1920 and so on. Now, that's our logical test, comma. If it comes out true, what do I want? And I'm going to pretend that I don't have the check mark. I just have the number. And that means we can use uni character. If we give it the proper unit code, it gives us the character. Now, this cell reference, when I copy it down, I need it to be locked on B15. So every single row as I copy down needs to be 15. But when I copy it to the side, I need B15 to move to C15. So here I hit the F4 key one, two times, lock the row, but not the column. Close parentheses. That's the value of true. If this comes out false, comma, then what do I want? Double quote, double quote. That's a zero length text string that will show nothing. Close parentheses, Control Enter, copy it to the side, double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2. And that is working. So there you go. There's how to use uni character and uni code. It's great to hang out on our online Excel team. Thanks to OXYZ. We'll see you next video.